Hi guys, welcome to the video number 211 and in this video we are going to learn about the access macros, how to create them. Two very important useful macros, I am going to share it, you know, share it uh, with you and uh, if you are watching my channel for the first time then let me tell you, you can watch all those amazing videos on MS Excel, MS Excel VBA access and access VBA, we have all you know got it for you so we have already uploaded 210 amazing videos and you can go to my playlist and you can find out you know under all these categories these all the videos right so uh, we have also now started working on the access vba access uh, front end so you would see now you know a lot of videos on the access as well this like for example this is a playlist where you can click and you can find the access queries videos right and this so depending upon this the titles you can click and you can basically watch the videos now today what i'm going to tell you is in this video number 211 that how to create the macros in access we are going to learn the two useful macros. One is that what if you want to export this table data, you know, in any of the new Excel file and you want to save it on your desktop or F drive, E drive, wherever. The second macro which we are going to do is how to basically import the data. How to import the data from another access table to this access table. So these are very two useful macros, right? And if you are looking for the access VBA code on the same subject, then you can go to this access vba connect access with excel playlist and you would find here the four videos you can see here the title also is very much clear export access table to excel using the vba and then there is one more export access data in excel export table of your choice from list box right and then there's another one right so if you are a you know vba lover access vba lover then definitely you should not miss these videos and uh, in this video now what we are going to do is today in this video we are simply going to learn the access front end macros right you don't really need any vba program for that now interestingly in the access macros i think that they are very very simple because you don't have to really learn any programming unlike in excel vba because in excel vba you know that right you got to have a good knowledge of uh, the programming even if you record something in the you know using the macro excel macro editors you got to have a good knowledge of vba to you know manipulate the codes to edit the codes right but in access macro it works entirely different right so let's go ahead and the, first of all uh, the task is to export the table in excel and uh, we would like to save that excel file maybe in my e drive or anywhere you want to right so you need to click on this create option and by the way i'm using access 2016 guys and uh, you should be able to work this on all the access versions right especially uh, 2007 onwards i'm very much confident that it is definitely going to work in access 2003 if you are working um, I'm not sure if exactly this is the macro you would need but yes I remember that because 10 years back when I used to work on access 2003 you know I we had those basically macros there maybe by different name but uh, you need to you need to surf it you just you can check you know in the Google but access 2007 and onward versions definitely it is uh, very easily available so now what you need to do is to start with the access macros you just go, go you know need to go, uh, go to the create and you need to click on this macro so far in my videos you have seen me that i have you know i've used always the create designs query designs and table designs form designs but this time we are going to click on the macro now when you click on the macro this is what exactly you would see in 2000 access 2003 this view will entirely look different right so but in the previous versions 2010 2013 you know access this would look like the same right there, there will i don't think so there will be any changes right so now what you need to do is uh, this is the action catalog you can choose all the macros from here right so just in case if you're looking for some particular macro and it is not available you can click on this show all action also right this show all action will show up all the basically uh, the macros which you can run right so now what we want to do is in this case i'm just going to press i m okay so i m will take me to this import export data so here we're going to select the import export spreadsheet now import export spreadsheet that means that here we're going to import or export the spreadsheet now in this case we are not going to import it we are actually trying to export the data so we are going to export it export means that to push the data you know outside from your own domain from your this access database so we are going to actually copy and paste this data and transfer it to the you know another uh, uh, database um, 
I would say that not a database but a spreadsheet right but again spreadsheet is also kind of a database because it stores the information right so the first option is transfer type and uh, you will have to choose this whether you want to import export or link so I just click on the export because I want to export this now spreadsheet type uh, spreadsheet type you just keep it excel workbook don't have to change anything because we want this data to be copied in the excel now what is the table name so you know that let's say I want to copy this table this data we want to paste it right we want to export it so you can select the table I um, mean you can write the table name so let's write the table name employee IDs okay and uh, the file name now the file name is that where exactly you want to get this exported right so I want let's say in the e drive right here I want you can see that my e drive is totally empty right now so what I can do is in my file name I can write the complete path like this and now you can give any any file name let's say let me give this file name called abc.xlsx this this is really required you need to actually provide the extension also because you know that every excel file has an extension called .xlsx right in case if it is a macro enabled file then the extension would be .xlsn but anyways we are simply going to copy and paste the data there so we don't need the macro enabled file right so this is the complete path and uh, now the next thing which I want to do is now by the way uh, you can keep it's not necessary that it should be E F or D drive you can also you know export this data in any uh, on your desktop also you just need to provide the uh, the path of the de desktop and the shortcut way is to what you need to do you ju just go to your desktop and right click and go to the properties and in the properties go to this uh, you know security and here you will be able to see this the entire path and you can copy it right most of the time what people generally do they copy the location and then type in the you know the file name manually but and under the security option you have the complete path including the file name so just trying to save your time right so you can copy it from there okay now uh, has field names uh, yes it has a field name so you can always keep it yes <coughs> range we really don't need to this is the optional parameter so we don't really want to do this this generally we use when you want to import the excel data and you want to you know get that data here in the access then you can also give it the range right i will be talking about that maybe in this um, in the separate video but right now let's just go ahead and uh, let's uh, save this macro so i want to save this macro close this close the macro from here do you want to save the changes yes I want to save the changes now uh, what exactly we want to do so let me just uh, name this as uh, export exporting spreadsheet you can say that exporting table uh, to Excel <coughs> try to give it a meaningful name right because it always helps now if you if you name it like macro 1 macro 2 macro 3 I'm strictly against it right you might have heard me saying this lot you know in my all the videos uh, whether we make the modules in the Excel or you know we make the macros the subs procedures in the you know access macro or uh, whether it is a Excel macro Excel VBA always give it a good name guys trust me because you will be confused then now having a look at this somebody is going to look at this macro you know it gives us such a clear indication that all right this macro must be talking about you know how to export the table now let me just click here double click you need to double click here and there we go so I clicked and I think the macro is finished so what you can do is let's come back to the e-drive and there we go you can see here that my file is created and I'm going to open it and let's see whether we have got the data it should not be empty um, okay so it's getting opened ah yeah there we go so now you see that you have got this which is perfect right so this is how you can export this data right now now what, what we can do is uh, we can further go ahead and you know we can uh, further design it if you want to modify it how, how you're going to modify it you see that from here you can delete it you can you know cut paste I never used it I don't think so it is required but copy and paste if you want to do it you can control C and control V also you can use the shortcut key so rename if you want to rename it yes and so these are basically all the simple options you know that right now what the important is that uh, what if I want to modify it let's say other than the run so you can run it from here also remember you know so you can right click and you can run it and the macro will run otherwise you can also double click the way I actually you know ran this so now I go to the design view and this is what exactly I will see so if you see your macro like this don't panic right because it is actually not 
collapsed so you just need to click on this plus button when you click on this plus button you know you have got everything here now in this code what we can do is we can further go ahead and can add the message box now I'm telling you this extra extra thing right because we are going to add two things in the macro one is that we're going to export the data and after it exports you know we would like to have a message box so in the message box I want to say that done you can create the beep sound as well if you you know if you uh, if you want to have a beep sign a beep sign off then what will happen your computer you know the you will hear this sound from your speaker and uh, the title you want to create any title um, well I don't think so it is required you just need to just say this that this is done so that user should be able to understand it that this is done right so I'm gonna close this let me save everything and now let's go back and hit on this double click there I, there I go you know so you see that uh, I clicked it and it said that done so this is going to give you the indication basically that yes your macro actually ran and again if I click here you can see that uh, this is going to work so in this way your excel file is going to be generated right so this is about uh, the how to uh, export it and uh, now one more thing we, which we can do uh, okay let me just uh, close this blank one yeah now what if you want to import the file what if you want to import the file so there are two ways either you go to the create again and you so what I'm saying that import the Excel file here in the access right we are doing the reverse of it so either you go and create the macro and again you write here import and click here where is the import let me just write it here again now you see you don't see that import option here which is very strange right isn't it so just click on the show all actions now let me just click back IMP there, there we go you start seeing all the you know the macros so you can again in this case now what you can do is you can you know uh, choose this as a export option as well right so let's go ahead and let's do one thing uh, let's create this macro so uh, I don't need this uh, this macro the import and export data so I, I can close it from here you know it was selected actually by mistake so you can delete the macro from here also the macro is deleted now what we need is we want to import the data from the spreadsheet which is Excel workbook table name what would you like to you know what name would you like to give it so let let me give it a name called test okay now what is the file name now you know that the file name is um, in the e drive the file name is ABC so I just go there and in the properties I'm going to click on the security and I copy this path okay it can be any file it doesn't really matter we are simply going to import it so I go to my access database and I select the file name okay that's my file name now has field names um, I would say yes let's say has field names also okay range I'm going to keep it empty for the time being and uh, let's have a look on your uh, file also let me just open the file So this is basically our file, username and the password, right? And uh, I can add some more stuff here. Let's say, let me add the test and uh, some ideas, test two, 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 and this one. Okay, now let's just save the file. We're going to save the file. All right, now let's go ahead and let's run this, this macro. Okay, so you can run the macro from here also in the design mode, right? I have not actually closed it right now. So I can run it from here also. The moment you run it it will say that do you want to save the macro yes I want to save it so what name you would like to give so import importing Excel right that's it press ok and there we go you see that the macro ran and I got the table here with the name called the test let me just open this now you see that this is the two entries which I have actually got in added and they are you know imported right now what is the next thing I want to tell you guys um, so why don't we uh, do one thing here uh, in the range as it says you if, if you just hover your mouse here you can read this enter the range of the cells to be imported leave this blank to import or link to the entire spreadsheet so we have left it blank so that's why you see that all the entire Excel data is pasted on my table called test but you can enter a named range or specify the range such as a1 to 8 e25 also so in this case now let me do one thing let me just create here a a1 to B3 okay now let's just try to run this code again okay so what I'm saying is that the data from the Excel it should only pick this A1 to B3 let's just hit on the run save the macro there we go let me open this 
and uh, so it is showing the entire data i guess uh, first of all i let me just delete the test mac uh, the table so we are going to delete this now we're going to run this let me just go ahead and run this okay i ran let's have a look look at this guys so this is what i was talking about so you can also you know keep a check keep a control on the excel ranges right so if you go to my e drive this is what i was talking about in this file what we said that you got to copy the data only a12 i think the b3 so this data this is also i mean if you can if you want the data to be you know imported in the axis with the with some specific limits with some specific uh, specific size then you can do it very easily right you just need to come here in the importing excel and you can write here the you know the range and that's it if you keep it blank then you know that what will happen if i just keep it blank and now i just uh, let me delete this the test table and uh, now let's just run this in the design mode can run it and save the macro yes i want to save the macro the test table is created and you see the entire excel spreadsheet data is imported into a new table right so let's just close this and uh, so these are the two macros which we have learned today how to export the access table uh, you know the access table data in the excel spreadsheet and how to import that data from the excel spreadsheet you know and uh, uh, make a form a table in the access uh, your the database right so i hope you in, have enjoyed these two macros and trust me these are the very beneficial macros you use it a lot actually in the mis if you're a part of mis training right so guys i'll, I'll be back with some more exciting stuff and uh, don't forget to leave your comments uh, in case if you have anything to ask re regarding these macros and uh, i will be back then with the new video thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't you have the you know the link just on the bottom corner of this video and subscribe and be a part of this awesome training program. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.